who's coming in next, and then can you match up better with your substitutions? Johnson around the screen, puts it home. The Nets are off and running. Go yap about today's game. Williams accelerates, flips it up, and in. A nice job of clearing space at the step. Kick out Johnson. Five to shoot. Johnson swimming through, and the touch. Cross court under the hoop, that'll happen sometimes. Good ball movement to the corner. Bogans cashes in. Well, remember, you said in, you know, earlier this evening that they had Turner looking to answer. His short, long rebound. Wallace has Johnson to his left. Finds him. Johnson finishes. Nets lead. You like those fast breakups. He's seen a 9 0 Nets run. Ball reversal. Back to the big man, get it over to that corner, and then Bogan's ready to tee it up and hits it. And when you get a bad shot by your opponent, sometimes you wind up with an easy score for your team. Holiday, lob inside, Hawes working on Lopez, block, Wallace then fouled as he chased after the loose ball. The haircut though. Williams last year for the first time since 2003 really spread out in this first quarter for the Nets Williams hits both defender chased him off the three-point line and had that little in-between shot Darren Williams with the drive off the glass Bogans Williams Wallace Lopez and Johnson on the floor for the Nets Johnson a three got it. That started in Brooklyn. So this isn't census data. This is Mike Fratello acquired data. I try, try to back up. We get to the line for two. And he wound up making the bucket. And now a 10-0 edge and second chance points for Philadelphia. Johnson thought about the pass. We'll shoot instead and hit. Williams inside to Wallace. Had the space and finishes. Nice execution, though. Williams finds Wallace. That one he will take. A little two-man game right there. They're low. Pass tipped away. Only four to shoot for Johnson. Johnson, step back, jumper. Got it. Hit. What a tough basket, man. Darren Williams. Flash, nice feed to Stackhouse. Johnson, a long three. You bet. You know, Joe got mad that he heard you say six-point swing, so he... You'll see Joe Johnson way behind that three-point line. Challenge a little bit late that time. It gives Joe getting away using the window. No, Nets have six something, six seconds to make something happen. Johnson, another long one. Again, the same spot for Joe Johnson, and that's how the third quarter will come to an end. A guy who is really feeling it. Joe Johnson gets himself behind the three-point line, wide open look. So that gets him going. His mentality right now is, you know what, I've got it going. A little bit deeper, again, an open look, and he feels it. Quarter's coming to an end. Joe Johnson never hesitates, hits that second three. Back-to-back -back threes by Joe Johnson. Watson, nice find. Williams bounces to Bogans, the three. You bet. Williams using the black screen. Bogans goes baseline. Bogans up under and in. A highlight show in this fourth quarter for the Nets. Bogans with the reverse. Aaron Williams will let it wind. Williams makes his move and banks it home. Look at the low field goal percentage, hold a few points, and don't commit a lot of fouls. Johnson draws two, Bogans is open, and hits. Two shots on his own. It's in the hands of Wallace right now. Bogans finds Williams. A three. Got it! One finally goes down for Darren Williams, and it's a big one. Next lead by seven. A seven-point lead. Williams connects from three. 89-82. Brooklyn in front on yes. Doesn't look like 
Sixers are going to foul right away. They would have done it as soon as the ball was in balance. They're going to try and get a stop played out and push to see if they can use the score. There's that flex action once again. Same play, only that time. Throw shooter in his career. And he hits the second. To a win. Nets have had some tough endings to fourth quarters in recent weeks. Williams hits the first. Second free throw is good. It's a two possession Brooklyn lead. Without those extra bodies. Johnson hits the first, so it will take a prayer. Does not hit, rebound tapped around. The full court heave is no good and the rest for the Nets pays off. Brooklyn 95, Philadelphia 92. Avery Johnson's team making the most of their three days off, ending their three-game skid, and trying to generate some positive feelings as they get ready to head into the new year.